Hey guys, it's Luke from FLC Productions. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create an iPod ad in Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express. Uh, I have Final Cut Pro version 6 point something something, I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, so to start I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to, it's going to be something like this. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have headphones. So I didn't do like an iPod headphone thing. If you want to, at the end of the video, I'll be like sort of telling you. I won't be showing you, but I'll tell you how to do it. But um, anyway, so we go in here. So we have that video. I'm sorry. I know you probably just became blind. So um, I'm sorry. I'll just play that again. And again, you became even more blind. But anyway, so there we go, we have that. Now what we want to do is add a chroma key um, to it. So do that by going to effects, video filters, color correction, color, I mean, um, duh, well, key, chroma key. I already have a chroma key set right here, so I'll just paste that. And, oh, magically it went away. No, I already uh, did the chroma key over there, so I don't want to waste your time. I'm sure you already know how to do that. But anyway, I'm going to go into motion and just add a little left croppage right there. There we go. So now we're also going to want to put a little background because we don't want, you know, when when we add the little uh, black effect on the on my French one ping here, um, we're, we're going to want to see the background, and the background is set to black. So what we're going to want to do is go to matte and then color solid. See, this is going to be blue. We can add it, you know, change it to like orange, red. Just do red real quick, just see, because red's a strong color, so we'll be able to see the background. Alright, so we have my friend there, uh, just to make it look better, go to video filters, color correction, color correction, three way. We're going to just, you know, change it up a little bit. I'll pull that down just a tad. I'll put that down, and we'll probably want to bring up the saturation. Just a little bit. Can't do much with this, but we can. It's a little bit too much white, so we're going to put in a little blue. I mean, take out the blue by putting in a little bit of yellow. Um, that looks better than... Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's, it's not a good color correction. The video is not very good. But anyway, so here we have it. Now what we're going to want to do is go to Effects, Video Filters. Now we're going to go to Image Control and Sepia. Here we have Sepia. We're going to go to Filters tab. And the Sepia, we're going to make that whatever color you want the dude to be. Uh, let's make him... We picked red, so we can make him black. Why not? And... Obviously, he's not black now, so all we have to do is bring this highlight down to negative 100. And there you go. And if you say you want to change his color, it's really simple. All we're going to be doing is uh, keyframing. So we're just going to select here, maybe go down here. I'm just fooling around because I'm bored. Uh, make that like green. All right. So, this is our little mini iPod commercial that we just made. You can throw on a soundtrack. I'll delete the audio. Alright, so. So we change his colors. Big whoop. Alright, that's the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. it hopefully you got your gr uh, grounds on. So if you want to put, like, headphones, easy way to do that is you're going to need a head high quality camera and a high, like, kind of big headphones. Um, the iPod headphones will do if you have a really high, like, a high def camera, like 1080p or 720p will do, but the higher the resolution, the more pixels are going to be detected. So, basically, you're going to want uh, to paint or to tape your headphones blue so you can add a key on top of your video that just keys out the blue in the headphones. Then just throw another color on that, which would be white, to get the white out of the headphones. It's pretty easy to do. I'll maybe do a tutorial on how to do it. Comment below if you want. And if you want more of these Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Express tutorials, maybe I'll teach you how to make a website. I don't know. 
you can s subscribe, follow me on Twitter, or you can donate money. Um, donate like a dollar or two, and it helps me, and it it just it gives me the time to um, pretty much make these tutorials and teach you. So donate a couple dollars if you really like want more videos. The link is also in the description. So I will talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.